The following statements involve percentiles. Percentiles are used in statistics to indicate a value at or below which a certain percentage of data values fall. The first two statements involve the 36th percentile, so if we have the minimum data value on the left and the maximum data value on the right, the 36th percentile would be approximately here, where 36% of the data values are at or below the 36th percentile. And therefore, 100% minus 36% or 64% of the data values must be at or above the 36th percentile. For the first statement, what percent of values in the data set lie at or below the 36th percentile, which is 36%? The second statement asks for the percent of values in the data set that lie at or above the 36th percentile, which is 64% of the values, these values here on the right. The next two statements involve the 90th percentile. The 90th percentile would be approximately here, where now 90% of the data values are at or below the 90th percentile, which are these values here on the left. And therefore, 10% of the data values must be at or above the 90th percentile, which are these values here on the right. So reading carefully, the next statement asks for the percent of values in the data set that lie at or above the 90th percentile, which is 10% the values on the right. Next, we want the percent of values in the data set that lie at or below the 90th percentile, which is 90%. Next, if a sample consists of 1,200 test scores, how many of them would be at or below the 82nd percentile? Because we want the percent of test scores below the 82nd percentile, this is going to be 82% of 1,200. But just to show it on the graph above, the 82nd percentile would be approximately here, where 82% of the data values are at or below the 82nd percentile, which means 100% minus 82% or 18% of the data values must be at or above the 82nd percentile. But again, we're looking for the number of test scores below the 82nd percentile, which is 82% of 1,200. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. 82% as a decimal is 0 0.82, giving us 0 0.82 times 1,200, which is 984. Which means if a sample consists of 1,200 test scores, 984 of them would be at or below the 82nd percentile. And for the last statement, if a sample consists of 800 test scores, how many of them would be at or above the 38th percentile? We need to be careful here because we want the number of test scores above the 38th percentile is approximately here, where 38% of the data values are at or below the 38th percentile. And therefore, 100% minus 38% or 62% of the data values are at or above the 38th percentile. And we're looking for the number of test scores above the 38th percentile, which will be 62% of the 800 test scores, which equals 0 0.62 times 800, which is 496. If a sample consists of 800 test scores, 496 of them would be at or above the 38th percentile. I hope you found this helpful.